Welcome to part three. Welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. Also, this is Rich back in the parking lot. This is part three of the basic of riding slow. Part one was friction zone. Remember part one, friction zone. Part two was weaving your bike under you with the slow cone weave. This is part three where we're going to have a little bit more fun, fun and we need zero, absolutely no cones for this exercise. And what we're going to do, we're going to use the parking lot spaces to weave back and forth. Now, this is not your slow cone weave, nor is it the offset cone weave. The offset cone weave is three different offset cone weaves that goes all the way up to advanced and pro. This is just weaving back and forth using the parking lot spaces, skipping every other space. Stand in your friction zone, turn your head and eyes where you want to go, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do now. Even though we need no cones for this exercise, I set up cones just so you can see what I'm doing. So here we go. Okay, now that I'm on the bike, what I'm going to do is start from the other end, and I got the helmet camera on. Let me make sure. Yeah, so you can see my head and eyes turning and come towards the camera. Then I'm going to do it going the opposite direction. And then I will go into a section where there aren't any cones just to show you don't need no cones. You can have fun doing this. And you skip every other space and go into it. You can start from any end you want. I'm looking back where I want to go. And I'm going to start from here and go between these cones. Now, as you're doing this, you're turning your head and eyes where you go. When you complete this right here, you want to start aiming toward this cone and then looking to go into the middle of the next cone. So you're making a big loop like this, a big loop going into the middle of the next cone and coming around, aiming to this cone, passing it up, making a big loop going into the middle of the next cone. And do the same thing with each parking lot thing. Now, as you get better at this, your loop doesn't have to be as big. Remember, stay right in the friction zone. If you need to, flip your throttle, flip the throttle. So as I'm coming to this way, I'm just kind of keep it short. Instead of going on a big loop, I'm coming here, still going toward that cone, and then I'm starting my turn here, short to go into the next one. From here, going to the next one, looking where I want to go, turning here. Going into the next one. Now, as you're doing this, if you don't have cones, you don't really even have to go all the way on the outside to do this. You can do it to stand on the inside. So I'm going to do it as if I don't have cones and stay on the inside and ride every other space. So here I go. I'm going here. And I'll just keep it on the inside right now just to show you. Skip that space. Go to the next one. Skip that space. Go to the next one. Oh, I went on the outside. <laughs> Skip that space. Go to the next one. And you can do that continuously over and over and over again. Now, I'm going to go over here, which I don't have no camera, and do the same thing. Well, you do not need any cones, and this is so much fun. Okay, I'm going here. I'm riding here. I want to skip that next space. Come into this one. Perfect. Skip that one. Go into that one. Looking over where I want to go before I even turn my bike. Go into the next one. Looking where I want to go before I even turn the bike. Skip one. Go into the next one. This one have a drain, so I'm going to go a little further out before I turn and go into the next one. And that's how I look. This is so much fun. You can do this all day, every day. Do not have to worry about setting any cones up. And if you have to get into a lot and somebody say, hey, you can't use this lot, then you have to, don't have to worry about picking up cones. So here we go, going through the cones one more time. And if you need to, I'm going to go all the way out wide this time. If you need to, don't worry about it. Go out wide, way out here. Make that big old circle. Come back into this one. Aim for that one. Go out wide if you need to. Look behind you where you want to go. Make that big circle. And then as you get better at it, then you can go short. Start going short right here. Short. Just on the outside the cone, start your turn. It's not an offset cone weave. If you see the offset cone weave, offset cone weave get a little bit more difficult. Remember, you're staying in the friction zone. Right now, actually, I'm, I could run through it right quick for you guys and show you that 
you can still blip the throttle and do this at the same time. So here we go. I'm going to do it while I'm blipping through the throttle, staying in the friction zone. I'm riding in the friction zone. I'm going through it. Regulate my speed. Foot is not on the brake. Regulate my speed with the use of the friction zone. Looking where I want to go. And that is the end of part three. Parking lot space turn. If you need to space it out wider, every second parking lot space instead of every other, then do it. And as you get better at this, close it in shorter and shorter. I'd like to thank you for joining the series. If you hadn't seen part one and part two, make sure you check out part one and part two. Stay in that friction zone. Get that slow riding because slow riding is the control. It's the essence of having control of your motorcycle. Thanks for joining me. This is Rich from Booster Jeans Riders. If y'all riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. And I'm out. Peace.